What is going on, everyone? The Houston Texans are on the road in this Week 7 matchup. Honestly, this game should have been in prime time. You have two great quarterbacks, C.J. Stroud, Jordan Love going at it. Two great records, 5-1. Four and two, a beautiful historic field in Lambeau. This is the opportunity for the Houston Texans to show the NFL world that they are indeed contenders, that they are indeed legit. They can beat the good teams. We are going to break this down, and I'm going to give you my keys to victory for this Houston Texans team. My name is Ruben Calvillo, and this is the 713 Houston Sportcast, where I drop daily Houston Texans content. Make sure you all are following me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for the latest news, rumors, and updates. And guys, this episode was brought to you and powered by BetUS. We are on the BetUS website, guys. BetUS is giving you a 150% bonus on your first deposit up to $2,000. On deposits two and three, it's a 125% bonus. The Houston Texans currently three-point docks against the Green Bay Packers. You heard me say that I think the final score is going to be 30-27. to 27, A last-second Kaimi Fairbairn field goal to ice it to win it for the Houston Texans. Let's put $100 to win 80. I believe in this Houston Texans team. Guys, shout out to BetUS, 24 hours customer service, quick 24 hours payoff. I locked it in. I have the Houston Texans winning by three points. Let me know if you guys tell. Let's go Houston, man. This is going to be a fun matchup. My first key to the game, and this might be the biggest one, this front four winning this game for the Houston Texans. Right now, the secondary is banged up. There will be no Kamari Lasseter. There will be no Jimmy Ward. So this front four has to wreak havoc. Will Anderson Jr., last week you emerged. Three sacks, four tackles for loss, a pass breakup that ended up in an INT by Eric Murray. You won the AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Let's continue that. Let's see the emergence of the Terminator of Area 51. Jordan Love under pressure is not good. You have to make him uncomfortable. In four games, he has six INTs. Daniel Hunter, you are familiar with the Green Bay Packers. You've gone against them your entire career. You know what it's like to play in Lambeau Field. Can this be the Daniel Hunter game like it was the Wu Anderson game last week against New England? Danico Autry. Welcome to the scene. Unfortunately, we lose Mario Edwards Jr. to a four-game suspension, but in comes Nico Autry coming off his six-game suspension, a 10-sack-plus season last year for the Tennessee Titans. In my opinion, this front four got better. You still have Fo Lorenzo Fantucasi. You still have Mario Edwards Jr. I think Kurt Heinisch might be available for the game also. This front four is ready to go, and they need to be the reason why you win this game against the Packers because Jordan Love, he loves him some wide receivers, and like I mentioned, we are very thin in the secondary. If you can get to Jordan Love, if you could create pressures, create toe nervous, I think the Houston Texans will have a chance to win this game. My second key to the game, Joe Mixon having a hell of a good day. We know when the Houston Texans have a 100 rusher, they are undefeated. So far, 2-0 and when Joe Mixon hits the century mark. And here's the thing. When Joe Mixon is out there, this offensive different, this team is different. You heard Landry Locker ask D'Amico Ryans about it. D'Amico said that his energy, his demeanor rubs off on the rest of the 53-man roster. And I have to agree, when I see Joe Mixon run the ball, I mean, he runs angry. When he gets tackled, he gets upset because he feels like he could have got a few more yards. When his blockers mess up, he will let them know. Joe Mixon is the veteran that we needed on the offensive side of the ball. We knew we needed a game-changing running back in the offseason, and that's exactly what Joe Mixon has been. And, dude, it's just night and day when number 28 is out there toting the rock. Let's also look at Damian Pierce. You had a solid performance last week against the New England Patriots, the big 54-yard touchdown. Can we see rookie Damian Pierce out there? Can we see a consistent RB1, RB2 combo of Joe Mixon and Damian Pierce? Man, I would love to see that. With number 31, if he wakes up, if he is a 
complimentary backup running back, I think this Houston offense gets better. I expect this rushing attack to be effective. I expect both running backs to have their moments. Guys, I think this is going to be a high-scoring game, a fun game. I think it's going to come down to whoever quarterback has the ball last might win the matchup. But if the Houston Texans want to end up with a W, I think the ground game needs to be insane. My third key to the game, these Houston Texans pass catchers stepping up like they did last week in the absence of Nico Collins, who still leads the NFL in receiving, even though not playing the last seven quarters. I'm not looking at Stephon Diggs, though. He has a tough matchup this week going up against cornerback Jair Alexander, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. If you ask some Green Bay fans, he is the best CB in the league. I think both of those guys are going to win some or going to lose some. I'm looking at Tank Dell. Let's have that big game. Let's emerge. Last year, we were having some conversations about Tank Dell during the season. Is he the number one option for this Houston Texans team? It seemed like every big play that happened, it went to number three. We haven't seen that this season so far, but I think it happens against the Green Bay Packers. Look, I'm going to go ahead and predict a touchdown score for Tank Dell. I'm going to predict over 70 yards. I think this is the game where we say, yeah. This was the Tank Dell that we saw last year. And here's the thing, guys. Tank Dell was still getting back healthy. Remember, coming back from a fractured fibula, getting shot through the leg this offseason was not an easy one for the second-year wide receiver. But I think Tank Dell was going to have a statement game against the Green Bay Packers. Number 86, Dalton Schultz, I'm looking at you because you had not lived up to that three-year, $30 million contract that you got in the offseason Green Bay, they are not good against tight ends. Last week, the Arizona tight end, Mr. McBride, torched him. This could be an opportunity for a Dalton Schultz game. This could be an opportunity for Dalton Schultz to kind of silence his critics because there are some out the New England Patriots game. A lot of people blame CJ Stroud's only interception on him. There was multiple times where the ball hit Dalton either in the hand or right in the face, and it just fell right to the ground. If Dalton Schultz has a Good game on Sunday, which it might happen, even though the fact like with the fact that he was second in targets on Sunday behind Tank Dell. We know CJ Shaw loves Dalton Schultz. We got to see that big game from 86, man. I hope we see it this week. You know, that's why I, I'm not looking at Stephon Diggs. He's going up against one of the best CBs in the NFL. But Tank Dell, Dalton Schultz, they need to win their matchups. They need to move the chains and they need to be. One of the reasons why this Houston Texan offense gets going besides Joe Mixon.